problem with camera. Now he's uh, more or less at the top of the uh, Zvezda module. The uh, automated transfer vehicle is attached there in the upper left-hand corner of our view, looking down to the uh, Atlantic Ocean. The station is uh, on a course to fly just northwest of uh, Africa, more or less uh, above the Strait of Gibraltar, and then uh, southern Spain and the Mediterranean before overflying southern Europe. The trust camera view looking uh, back gives us a look at uh, Fyodor Yurchikin, who is at uh, the forward end of Zvezda, inspecting wall antenna covers as well. This is Yurchikin's helmet camera view. Uh, it's number 20 in the lower right. Mazurkin's is 17. So I don't know how you would um, reference that against the coordinate frame. Sasha, just take pictures for us, and then we'll figure it out somehow or other. All right. Zirkin is uh, continuing his translation around the uh, aft perimeter of Zvezda, uh, heading for the third wall antenna location. Zirkin is working back in uh, an area of Zvezda near uh, some of the thrusters, which have been, which were uh, disabled some two hours ago, in advance of, uh, of the, the uh, spacewalkers getting out there. But you can see some areas of uh, discoloration there. Those are uh, in front of where those thrusters are, and come from the thruster firings. Heather, are you finished? No, I'm taking one more picture of um, the last screw on the antenna. Okay, and Sasha will be translating uh, towards wall one. And I'm pretty sure you'll need to reunite at wall two. Sasha, isn't it too dark for you with the uh, visor? No, Pavel, it's just right. Zirkin is uh, translating along hand to hand, and as he moves, uh, moving his uh, tethers from one handrail to the next, make sure that he's uh, always connected to the station. No, no danger of uh, floating away. A moment ago, we also heard the uh, Russian mission control team uh, let Fyodor Yurchikin know that once he's done examining those. Uh, antennas at the forward end of the station, they expect that he will need to translate back here to the aft end of Zvezda in order to assist Mazurkin in uh, tightening down the uh, loose antenna cover, uh, which we saw uh, several minutes ago. 
uh, he'll be there to uh, to try to help hold Mazurkin in place so that he does have some leverage uh, uh, to get at, uh, to, to be able to, to tighten down those screws. Sergey, are you receiving video? We are. Over there, the antenna. So here on the edge of SM aft, are those operational? Yes, they are. The one you're holding with your hand? That one, no, it's not being used. Sergey, I have no idea what you just said. I said the one that's right in front of you, that one is not being used. But it's not uh, this one. Uh, there's a bunch of them, and I was asking about the dish antenna that uh, is at the edge of the SMF. Inaudible. Yoder Yurchikin is uh, at work here the uh, forward end of the uh, Zvezda module, the uh, what's referred to as the small diameter section. Alexander Mazurkin is on the uh, aft end of the same module. This is Mazurkin's helmet camera view as he uh, Trans translating to the third of the three wall antennas located on the aft circumference. We can finally hear each other again. To uh, determine whether or not that antenna cover is uh, in place and if it is secure. So you do understand, Sergey, how big of a task it is to translate back and forth. Especially around these parts of the woods. That's exactly what I'm saying, so this, like you said, Sasha, you can't just jump ahead and uh, be where you wish. You have to walk all the way. Look at the structure. Uh, Fyodor Yurchikin's helmet camera. He's now uh, on the move toward the aft end of Zvezda to uh, join Mizorkin. Sasha, we see that uh, you're in place and location, but
but uh, we we can't hear you. Sasha, we cannot hear you at all. Please be very careful around the uh, antenna that's next to it. Sasha, please be very, very careful with it. Sasha, could you give us a sign that you see and hear us? Sasha, this is just beautiful, classic. at all what you're saying, not one word. Sasha, we see you tightening the screws, but we cannot hear anything you're saying. Alexander Mazurkin is working at the aft end of the Zvezda module. Now tightening down the uh, screws on another one of the uh, wall antenna covers. Uh, he has now, uh, he's already tightened down one. He's now tightening down a second. He was uh, unable to get into a good work position to tighten down the screws on the third, but he has seen the covers on all three of the wall antennas at the aft end of the station. Yurchigan has tightened down the cover on one of the three wall antennas at the forward end of the station, but he's now moved, is uh, in translation now to uh, join Mazurkin to uh, assist him to move back to tighten down the cover on the uh, third of the wall antennas on the aft end as the uh, crew members move back forward on the station, they'll be inspecting the remaining two wall antennas on the forward end of Zvezda. Fyodor Nikolaevich, the antenna is on the left. Oh, where are you now? Oh, yes, yes, it's uh, to the side. I tightened just one bolt over there, just a little tiny bit, not too much. This is just beautiful, right, Sasha? So that I can't hear you very well. The International Space Station is now uh, flying above uh, Eastern Europe, far western reaches of Russia, and has moved uh, Guys, can you hear me? in an area where we can't no longer get a uh, television picture. 
through our tracking data relay satellite system. We do still have uh, audio coverage, though. We'll be able to listen as uh, Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin talk with the mission control team here at the uh, control center in Koryalov. Two hours, 26 minutes into today's spacewalk. Yurchigan and Mazurkin removed a uh, laser communication system hardware as was planned, but were unable to attach an EVA work platform and a biaxial pointing platform uh, in its place uh, due to uh, a possible uh, improper alignment of the base plate of that EVA workstation with the remainder of the hardware. Russian control teams did uh, give some consideration to uh, seeing if they would have ask the spacewalkers to try to uh, fix that alignment uh, and decided that that was not the best uh, course of action for today and instructed them to uh, bring it in. Uh, Yurchikin has, uh, in fact, has brought that hardware back inside the pier's docking compartment. He did not tempt stow it on the EVA ladder as we had anticipated. Where are you? And they moved on then to the inspection of the uh, six antenna, the wall antennas, which are part of the proximity communications equipment system, a uh, radar system used to communicate with the European Space Agency automated transfer vehicle during its uh, docking and undocking from the station. One of the antenna covers from a wall antenna was noticed floating free of the station earlier this week. The decision was made to ask the crew to uh, inspect the antennas to uh, secure the covers. Fyodor Mazurkin has put his eyes on all three of the antennas on the aft end of the Zvezda module. Uh, they're all present. He's tightened down two of them. Fyodor Yurchikin is now uh, joining him uh, out at the aft end of Zvezda in order to assist him in tightening down that third cover. Um, you can go along this diameter. Working independently, Yurchikin uh, has already looked at one of the three wall antennas at the forward end of Zvezda and has tightened down that cover. And the uh, crew members are expected to uh, put their eyes on the other two antennas. Once they get completed at the aft end of the station, they move back forward. Just about two and a half hours into a planned five and a half hour plus spacewalk today. The uh, eighth spacewalk of Fyodor Yurchikin's career, the third of Alexander Mazurkin's, and the uh, second for each of them in the space of less than a week. I've um, got arms and legs. Of southwestern uh, Russia and not far from the uh, from Kazakhstan, the uh, space station is currently uh, in a spot where we uh, can't get television pictures through the tracking and data relay satellite system. But we do still uh, are hearing the uh, audio communications between the spacewalkers and the mission control team in Koyalov. We expect to. Uh, get television uh, back from the station about 13 minutes from out, right. uh, about 9.18 Houston time this morning. Okay, no, it's fine. Nobody ever complains. Okay, slowly translate to shorter. 
Uh, we can't even uh, hear each other. This is just not cool. Today's spacewalk being run from the Russian Mission Control Center and monitored here at the International Space Station Flight Control Room at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Members of the Orbit 2 team, who you see on console here this morning, working with uh, Flight Director Emily Nelson to uh, keep track of uh, what's going on during the spacewalk, as well as uh, uh, any other activities with the uh, crew members on board. Uh, to Ms. Nelson's right, the uh, Canadian astronaut David Saint-Jacques is uh, our spacecraft communicator today. Uh, right now, flight engineers Luca Parmitano and Karen Nyberg, who uh, are working in the entire U.S. section of the station, plus the Zarya module and uh, the Rosfet module and their own Soyuz spacecraft, are scheduled to be in their lunch break. Station Commander Pavel Vinogradov and Flight Engineer Chris Cassidy are isolated inside their Soyuz spacecraft and the Poisk module. Uh, they are uh, isolated. They uh, have been there, too, since uh, about uh, 4.30 Houston time this morning. Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin exited the uh, Piers docking compartment at 6.34 Houston time this morning and are now out at the aft end of the Zvezda module. I'll take a look from the other side. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. I need to look and see and think. Can I lower my feet into the um, uh, little well between the uh, ATV and the SM? Okay, one more time. Your chicken has uh, joined Mazurkin out at the aft end of Zvezda to uh, try to provide him some support as he will uh, try to tighten down the third of the wall antenna covers that he's seen. Uh, he's been to two of those antennas and tightened the covers down on his own. Uh, the third cover, which was we could see in video at the time was, and was quite loose, was visibly moving about. Uh, he also wasn't able to uh, really get himself established in a place where he could uh, he, where he could turn the screw. And your chicken is there now to uh, help him to. Uh, uh, help hold him in place so that he can do that. I was going to suggest I should go in there and rotate it. Okay, let me reattach my tethers. Okay, and then you can... From the conversation, you can hear that uh, Yurchikin and Mazurkin are working together, uh, trying to get themselves established and get themselves uh, in place so that any action that they impart with their hands doesn't turn the rest of their bodies and, and prevent them from, uh, from tightening up this uh, antenna cover. Uh, hopefully we will uh, get a television view back again in about five minutes from now. Uh, each of the spacewalkers today has a uh, helmet camera installed, and we're getting some nice views of what they're seeing uh, out at the uh, far aft end of the International Space Station. I gathered what I could. What did you gather? Inaudible. Oh, 
You notice you're trying to tighten it and uh, loosen it. Oh, you see it's just uh, free floating. Yes, I see, and it goes back. Oh, let's be careful. I'm not going to pester you, as you may remember, after you secure the first, uh, after you secure it with the first rotation, first you, need, you can go back and release it quietly and then tighten it. Okay, I'll, Sasha will be the first pioneer of sorts. But, yes, to tell you, frankly, Sergei, it looks scary. It's going to be a surgical procedure of sorts. Yes, I understand you very well. And, you know, I'm speechless, frankly speaking, about the attachment of I'm here. Whenever you're ready. It would be better if you were not holding the cap. But inaudible. Here we go. Sasha, what if I do it this way? Uh, you can hold on to my hand because I am securely attached. electrical tool. Are you hinting at our friends? You're looking at a live view of the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Koyolov, the suburb of Moscow, where the, the team is uh, running today's uh, Russian spacewalk, just about two hours and 40 minutes into uh, today's uh, spacewalk, which started at 6.34 Houston time this morning. Station has been in an area where we're unable to get a television picture down from our uh, satellite system, but uh, we should be moving back into the range of the tracking and data relay satellite system here uh, momentarily. Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin, uh, both out at the aft end of the Zvezda module, where uh, Yurchikin is uh, trying to help secure Mazurkin in place so that he can tighten down the cover on one of the wall antennas. He was able to uh, tighten the covers on the other two of those antennas out in that area uh, by himself. But uh, he's going to need some assistance to uh, get himself steady in place so that he can uh, complete the tightening down the cover on the third of those uh, antennas. And it's expected that uh, both crew members then will translate back to the forward end of Zvezda for the remaining tasks of today's spacewalk, which include inspecting uh, two more 
wall antennas and their covers at the forward end of the station. Yurtikin has already looked at one of the three wall antenna that are at the forward end of Zvezda and uh, tightened down the cover there. This uh, inspection task was added to the spacewalk uh, just uh, yesterday. Uh, after one of the antenna covers was seen floating free of the station on Monday. Uh, so far, they have found uh, uh, they have found some uh, the loose attachment of those uh, uh, covers that they have seen so far, and uh, Yurchkin and the Mizorkin are uh, tightening them up as they go. IRM uh, was uh, very important in terms of its priority, but as far as the uh, work intensity, labor intensity, then it sure beats it. Okay, do you want me to, you want me to hold it somehow? Well, if I only knew how. Okay. Uh, let me try. Okay. I can't do it. Inaudible. Okay, let me do this. I think I'm going to hold on to you. You know what the problem is? That you can't release it. You see, the problem is that a couple of more awkward moments and the screw will fly away. Okay, there should be a handrail here. What if you uh, rotate down um, like a tin soldier and then I'll hold on to your helmet? The um, screw float out and no, oh, I don't know. A live view now from uh, Alexander Mazurkin's helmet camera oh, no. uh, as the uh, International Space Station is uh, still clearly in an orbital nighttime pass. Mazurkin and Yurchikin are at the aft end of the Zvezda module working together to uh, 
get Zirkin securely in place so that he can finish tightening down the uh, cover on the uh, wall antenna, the third of the antenna that are at the aft end of the station. I'm able to fit it in. Can't see. Here I can hold you. I need to get even lower. Okay, better. That is the uh, antenna cover in the upper right hand corner of the picture. There are three of these uh, antennas on the aft end of the station. Mazurkin's already tightened the covers on two of them. The two spacewalkers working together to uh, tighten the third. Uh, when that's done, the uh, crew members will translate back to the forward end of Zvezda, where there are two more wall antennas at that location to be inspected. One has already been inspected and had its cover tightened. The uh, planned task to relocate a foot restraint uh, on the Zvezda module has uh, been removed from today's spacewalk uh, as a result of the decision not to uh, try to install the EVA workstation. Uh, that uh, happened because the uh, crew members found that uh, it appeared that the uh, attach point of that workstation was uh, not properly aligned with the rest of the equipment. And once it was installed in the universal work platform, that the rest of the apparatus did not seem to be pointing in the proper direction. The uh, Russian mission control team instructed the crew members to uh, bring that hardware back inside. It's already been uh, brought back into the pier's docking compartment. Uh, the plan was to reinstall, was to relocate a foot restraint onto that EVA workstation. But since it is not in place, uh, the foot restraint will not be relocated. It'll be left where it is on the uh, port side of the uh, Zvezda's transfer compartment. Well, but it looks like it's... Uh, uh, Alexander Mazurkin is uh, still scheduled to go to the Poisk module to uh, take photographs of an exposure experiment that was installed at that location last Friday, as well as to take surface samples of the EV hatch of the Poisk module, uh, and the installation of gap spanners on the port side of the Zvezda module, also still on the, uh, on the task list for today. Uh, today's spacewalk will probably run shorter than the planned five hours and 39 minutes due to the uh, decision not to install the EVA workstation, but it is uh, not known, not clear at this time, how much shorter uh, it will be. Uh, now two hours, 49 minutes into today's spacewalk. Okay, I'm going to tell you um, while you're translating. We're going to install it with the top part that is pointing in the direction of photon gamma. Copy. 
Chicken's helmet camera view as uh, he and Alexander Mazurkin have uh, finished their work at the aft end of the station and have moved back to the uh, forward end of the Zvezda module. They've uh, tightened all three of the wall antenna covers at the aft end of the station. In the direction of the plate that is starboard from you. So 15-2, 19 on its port side. In the direction of 19-2. What, what should be pointing in the direction of 19-2? If you're looking at the assembly compartment, you should... Um, the side of it should be pointing. The spacer should be in the direction. Where should the yakar be oriented? Yakar should be facing in the opposite direction. Towards Earth. Yeah, towards Astanov, exactly. We don't have any Earth here. Okay, so that would be the right explanation. So should we install Yaka right here, that will be on the Earth side. Sure. Okay. So you've installed everything, right? Everything is in place, correct? Correct. Absolutely. To make sure it won't be just hanging here. Sergey, all its connectors on the PN must be looking towards, speaking simultaneously, towards PHO, towards MRM, but currently we rotated it by 90 degrees towards Earth. That is correct. 
So all connectors are facing Japan. Okay, correct. And the last thing for you to understand, how the state between 1951 and 1902, relative to its uh, design position, is currently angled at 90 degrees counter, uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Okay, now it's correct. Shall we tighten it? Yes, guys, you can tighten it and start working with the cable. If required, there is a slack. You can remove the whole thing. Uh, the slack that was actually arranged on the ground and currently is wire tied with two wire ties. Okay. Spacewalkers Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin are back at the Universal Work Platform on the starboard side of the Zvezda module. Now, guys, one more thing. That's the uh, location from which they removed the uh, laser communication system hardware. And uh, where they did not, will not install the EVA workstation. But because, and because the new hardware is not going in place, they're now uh, tidying up uh, the uh, connectors and the cables at that work site before they will uh, then move on to the remaining tasks for today's spacewalk. Uh, that includes uh, inspection of uh, the final two wall antennas uh, at the forward end of the station. Photo documentation of an exposure experiment installed on the Poisk module last Friday, and a surface sampling of the EV hatch on the Poisk module, plus the installation of a couple of gap spanners on the uh, starboard side of Zvezda. Uh, check that on the port side, uh, the port side forward end of Zvezda. The part that looks like a shuttle handle. Do you see it? Yes, I can see it. It should be armed, right? I just want you to understand in which state it is. Can you see the video? As the spacewalkers were installing that uh, EVA workstation, uh, they noticed that uh, when its base was properly installed in the work pla platform, that the uh, rest of the hardware uh, did not seem to be uh, properly oriented, wasn't pointing in the right direction, uh, was determined that uh, in all likelihood the base plate is attached out of its proper alignment. And the decision was made by the mission control team in Moscow that uh, they would not ask the spacewalkers to try to adjust that base plate uh, on the fly, as it were. And uh, at 8.15 Houston time this morning, they were instructed to uh, bring that new hardware back inside. Uh, it's already been uh, secured inside the pier's docking compartment. Let's do it in sequence. Let's start the laser communication system, which was removed from this location, uh, is also going to be brought back inside the station at the end of today's spacewalk. It will ultimately be disposed of. Uh, the EVA workstation and its uh, base plate attachment will uh, undoubtedly uh, receive some attention from uh, cosmonauts in the days to come to uh, get that thing properly uh, configured so that it could then be uh, installed on some later spacewalk. That I just need to be stowed so they won't be on our way. Very good. 19-1 is open. Oh, okay, great. Stand by. There were supposed to be three connectors running from here. Sergey, please remind the numbers of the connectors to which nine are related to 19-1. Uh, stand by one. One of them is 19-5, is that correct? Yeah. Affirmative. 19.5, I confirm it's here. Uh, we have 19.1 through 19.6. You need 19.2, 4, and 5. They go into 19.1. 2 for 5, copy. 
Федор Николаевич, that's number five. Okay? Got it? Is it in? Yes. I'm looking for the next one. Nineteen four. Done. We just need to make sure they're not uh, entangled with each other. No rush. We still have time. So we are just securing them. Yes. All you need to do is install them into the bronchwebs. Okay. The connector is on the way, Sereja. What if file uh, install it uh, is next to it into the broom clip because we already have connectors here, okay? So the route uh, right next to it. But please, um, if possible, make sure that the uh, labeling is face up, okay? Uh, if it's okay with you, we have some free room on the right side. Okay. Now that's number two. Okay. Now it's already in. And let's secure it in between. Like this. And rotate it. For future, uh, please tell the guys that it's easy to lift. First of all, it's easy to distinguish them. First of all, the head caps. That's number one, okay? 19.2 is between 15.1 and 19.2. On the other side, copy. Also, by the way, do you see video? Yes, we do have TV signals. Uh, I, something else I wanted to tell you. If we have time left, we'll take photos. Okay, we'll do. Okay. Are you done, Sasha? Yes. Uh, like this, and let's close. And now, 19.2 is the one we need. Okay, 19.2, this is on this side, Sasha. Okay, and to this one, when you need to install 19, 10, 11, and 12. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Very good. Let's go in sequence. Some help? No, just a sec. I will just help myself to be secured properly with my leg. And next is number four. Okay. But yeah, we have this thing on it. This is Mission Control Houston, now three hours, four minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Uh, for the last uh, more than 30 minutes or so, it's been uh, going on uh, while the station flies in orbital darkness and uh, with uh, not a lot of uh, verbal communication between the uh, spacewalkers, Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin, and the Mission Control Center in Moscow. But uh, the mission control team here in Houston has now been advised by Moscow that uh, the spacewalkers were directed to go back and retrieve the EVA workstation, which had been stowed back inside the pier's docking compartment, and to install it in its intended spot uh, on the universal work platform on the starboard side of the uh, Zvezda module, it, and at this point it is installed in that spot, and the video that we've been watching for the last few minutes has been uh, Yurchikin and Mazurkin connecting the cables which will provide power and telemetry to that worksite. Uh, 
little over an hour and a half ago as the uh, crew members were beginning to install this new hardware at its position uh, they found that the uh, what they determined that was that the base plate of it was improperly aligned so that when it was installed in position the rest of the hardware was not pointed in the proper direction and uh, about 8.15 Houston time this morning Mission Control in Moscow instructed the spacewalkers to bring that hardware back inside, that that was the only option. Uh, apparently, though, it was not the only option. And on, after further consideration, uh, the, Russian, the uh, Russian control team instructed Yurchikin and Mazurkin to go ahead and install that. It is believed that it is, uh, that it is misaligned, but it is only out of uh, alignment in the yaw axis. And that is a pivotized yaw axis that can be corrected mechanically after it's installed uh, by maneuvering the uh, biaxial pointing platform. So the decision was made, and the Russian spacewalkers have installed the EVA workstation with the biaxial pointing platform on the uh, universal work platform on the starboard side of Zvezda, exactly where it was intended to be installed during today's spacewalk. They're now doing the cable connections, which will provide power and telemetry to that piece of hardware. They have also, of course, as we saw earlier, they have inspected all three of the wall antennas at the aft end of Zvezda and tightened down all three of those covers. Uh, Yurchikin inspected one of the wall antennas at the forward end of Zvezda and tightened down its cover. When this work is uh, is correct is completed, uh, they'll be ins inspecting the remaining two wall antennas and moving on to the remainder of the uh, scheduled tasks for today's spacewalk, which includes some uh, photo documentation and surface sampling at the Poisk module the uh, relocation of a foot restraint uh, from one location on Zvezda onto the new EVA workstation, and the installation of some gap spanners on Zvezda as well. I'm done here, it's made it. Can you see it? We are not receiving the image right now, even though it's supposed to be here, so we can see what you're doing, guys. What did you say you were supposed to receive the image? Oh, okay. And now we're installing it into the broom clip. Good. Four, four. I will give it to you in a second, Sergeant Mikhailovich. Okay, sure. Так, Федор, все-таки давай уточним. Федор, let's clarify. You made it four, four. Four, four, four. Принято. Okay. And four two is in my hands right now. Copy. Okay, the picture is back. Okay, look here. Here is 4-4. Four, four. And here is 4-4. Four, four. Very good. Can install it 
Насколько это возможно? Into the room, Quip. To the extent possible. Okay. Second cable, here it is, Sergey Nikolaevich, okay. And the third one can be installed in any apron clip, the one that's most convenient on site, okay? Let me move this one first, okay? The International Space Station is now in orbit 260 miles above the far southern Pacific Ocean, uh, still flying in uh, orbital nighttime, but uh, only perhaps 15 minutes away from uh, sunrise above the uh, South Pacific. Three hours and 12 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. This is the view from the helmet camera of uh, Fyodor Yurchikin. As uh, he and Alexander Mazurkin continue to uh, make cable connections to uh, finish installation of the EVA workstation with its uh, pre integrated biaxial pointing platform, putting that hardware into place as planned on the uh, starboard side of the Zvezda module. Earlier on in the spacewalk, after they had uh, successfully removed the laser communication system hardware from that location, Yurchikin and uh, Mazurkin uh, found that the uh, base plate of the new hardware was misaligned with the rest of the hardware, so that when it was installed properly at its attachment point, uh, the remainder of this uh, little over six foot long apparatus wasn't pointing in the right direction, uh, which would be an issue since it will in the future be the home of uh, a couple of cameras for an optical telescope system. And uh, in fact, the crew members were instructed to uh, bring that hardware back inside where it would have to be uh, worked on later. But uh, within the last hour, uh, the Russian flight control team uh, had a change of heart and instructed Mazurkin and Yurchikin to go back and retrieve that hardware and go ahead and install it in place, which they have done. They've locked it down and they're now connecting the uh, power and telemetry cables. That decision made on the uh, basis uh, that the, the uh, misalignment here only has the, uh, the, the camera platform, if you will, if we can call it that, uh, the cap camera platform would only be out of alignment in the yaw axis, not in the uh, roll or pitch axes. And it would be, they've determined that it would be possible to uh, correct for that misalignment uh, through uh, motorizing, through using the biaxial pointing platform. Uh, so the de decision was made that it, uh, it was uh, the proper course of action would be to go ahead and install the hardware as is and uh, they will worry about uh, manipulating it into the proper position later. The uh, cameras that are to go on it, a, uh, a high-resolution camera that is to go on the uh, biaxial platform, as well as a medium-resolution camera, which goes on the universal work platform itself, uh, are both due to arrive at the station in November on the next Progress supply ship and be installed on a Russian spacewalk that is currently scheduled for December. So all of the tasks of today's spacewalk uh, are still in play here, although the order of in which some of them have been completed uh, will be different. Uh, for a time, uh, Yurchikin and Mazurkin went out to the aft end of the station to inspect the uh, three uh, 
rendezvous communication system antenna covers, uh, which they have done and tightened them all down. Uh, well, oh, okay. When they finish this uh, connection of the workstation platform, they'll uh, move on to remaining tasks of the spacewalk, which include the uh, examination of two more of those uh, rendezvous communication system antennas uh, in the neighborhood at the forward end of the Zvezda. Uh, a third one at the that is also at the forward end of Zvezda had previously been inspected by Yurchikin. And then to uh, move on to the remaining tasks, which include uh, moving a foot restraint from Zvezda onto the new EVA work platform, uh, some photo documentation and surface sampling at the Poisk module, and installation of two gap spanners on the port side of Zvezda. Are you asking me? No, like in that movie. Unintelligible. Peter Nikolaevich, I have a suggestion. Let me uh, open the broom clip and you push the guys in, okay? Can fit it in? Listen, a question, a simple one. I need to stretch it here. Will it fit like that? Let me see. Oh, here. Just a little bit. One is in, which means that I'll manage to fit the second one too. All right, it's in. Great, so it's done. And right next to it, let's work with 4141A. Uh, but we need to understand, should we route it on top of those uh, cables? Uh, Fyodor, at your request, a reminder, in 20 minutes. Okay, actually, everything is in place by now, okay. You'll be able to check everything out. Yes, I understand. We have 30 minutes. Okay. Because I was kind of worried uh, if we'd be uh, lagging behind. Just wanted to make sure. I understand. But now everything's fine. But now we can do the polishing steps. Okay, it's in the broom clip, and uh, it's normal to other connectors, there are no more broom clips left available for us. Actually, it's a good time to take photos, so would you like us to do it later? Uh, when we, inst after we install all cables, you know what? Right now, it's a rest. My timer is on. Okay, great. But I'll keep talking. First of all, give me your personal opinions on your, on how you feel. Uh uh. I one of my wire ties just flew away. I have one. Other. What about your gloves? They're fine. Sergey is fine. Okay, copy. Sasha. What about you? Great. Uh, what about thermal conditions for both of you? Unintelligible. Yeah, 
это вот... Э, okay. well, you see? Есть такие это инспекции, я бы никогда в жизни не видел. You know? If not for those inspections, I would have never been carrying all those cameras because it's really inconvenient. Okay, guys, are you ready to talk? Yes. Question number one about wall two. So we stopped at having one screw tightened. Not to the hard stop. Which one? The one that we were trying to tie them together? Yes. One screw is tied probably half to two thirds. The second one we barely managed to tighten it. It's not, it doesn't fit easily, so we only rotated a few threads in. Because it's in some kind of the enclosure. Okay. But it is not sticking out. Okay, that was my first question. Now, another request. How do you feel temperature-wise? Everything's fine. Copy. Just for you to sleep tighter. We're okay. I'm fine. Now I have one more question left. Does any one of you see the labeling on PHO uh, DPN? Yes, I can see. Fyodor, what time? Uh, now, Fyodor, remember there was a red bracket. Yes, red one, yes, I see. I thought it was no longer there. No, it's right there. Uh -huh. Were we supposed to remove it? Yes. What are we talking about? You see that red thing there? No, I don't. I'd like to understand what's going on. So in order to remove it, do we just need to untie the two bolts, or do we need to remove something else? No, just the two bolts. In the right side of this view from your chicken's helmet camera, you can see the uh, universal work platform, the uh, silver uh, colored item, and to the right of that, attached to it, is the uh, EVA workstation, and uh, beyond at its opposite end, the biaxial pointing platform that the uh, crew members have installed on the uh, space station's uh, Zvezda module. I don't remember a beep about it in the procedure. Because only after you mentioned it, I... They are uh, wrapping up the cable connections to uh, finish the, uh, make the final installation steps before uh, moving on to the remaining tasks for today's spacewalk. It's now three hours, 24 minutes in length. Okay, so let us rest for another two minutes or so, and then we'll deal with that issue. Coffee, we'll do. Sasha, can you see it? Yes, I can. I read the radiogram so many times, I can't believe it. What did you say? This is not for our wretched range. Uh, that's for 13, for number 13. No, no, 12. 
well. Так, ну можно хотя бы контрольку. All right, well maybe we can at least uh, take uh, the masking tape or something. Uh, maybe I can take a screwdriver and just uh, nudge it out and all right, in work. Наша куди дан клоузет. Right, with the cables. All right, we will make an attempt. We'll do our best. And then we'll just try to pull it out. Yes, we've got it here. Just pull it. That's it? Uh -huh. Sasha? Yes, this way. Well, now maybe you can take a photo before you close it out. Or you have no desire to do that. Let's do that. Okay, let's do it. Let's take photos. And then you can uh, move the bracket or take a photo of the bracket also. Well done. Can you move it? Well, right now I'm preparing everything. Okay, let's see. How can you move it? Thank you. I haven't done anything. I have just picked it up. Right, so are you getting used to it, to moving it? Let me try it, maybe on my side, maybe it'll be easier. Okay, just uh, hold it at the top. Just stand by. Let me find a comfortable position to hold it. Like this. Getting a look through the uh, helmet cameras. Uh, this is uh, from Fyodor, uh, excuse me, from Alexander Mazurkin's uh, helmet camera. Pull it up. Of the uh, crew members uh, taking photographs as they uh, wrap up the uh, cable installations and uh, finish. Uh, putting the uh, the last touches on installation of the EVA workstation. Let me translate with my feet this way. Earlier in today's spacewalk, the uh, spacewalkers found that there was uh, that part of the uh, that hardware, the base plate of that hardware, seemed to be installed out of alignment with the rest of it. And uh, for a time, a decision had been made by the Russian flight control team to. Uh, bring that new hardware back inside but uh, on uh, second thought or at least second thought uh, it was determined that since that uh, misalignment was only in one axis 
it could be corrected through the use of the uh, biaxial pointing platform, which is attached to the uh, opposite end of the EVA workstation, uh, that the orientation of that whole apparatus could be uh, made right through uh, the motorized uh, movement of that pointing platform. And Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin were instructed to go uh, retrieve the hardware which they had brought back inside the airlock. They brought it back out to the workstation here on the starboard side of Zvezda and installed it uh, as is, even though there was a, uh, there was a, a misalignment of the base plate. Uh, it will uh, later be corrected through manipulation of the uh, biaxial pointing platform so that it'll be properly installed when uh, two cameras arrive to be installed on it uh, later this year, uh, a high-resolution camera and a medium-resolution camera that are part of an optical telescope system due to be delivered to the station on a progress supply ship in November and installed uh, during a spacewalk, Russian spacewalk, in December. We are looking into that and trying to define uh, what the best course of action, but you need to finish with the cable. Uh, earlier, uh, while the, uh, the new hardware had actually been brought back into the airlock, uh, the crew members were sent off to uh, a task at the aft end of the station, at the Zvezda's aft end, aft end uh, where they were able to inspect three wall antennas, uh, which are part of the uh, communication system used during operations with the automated transfer vehicle, the European cargo ship that is docked to the aft end of Zvezda. Uh, they went to all three of those antennas around the circumference of Zvezda's aft end and to tighten down the covers on those three antennas. Uh, that task was added to the spacewalk uh, just a short time ago uh, after another of the antennas was found to have uh, freed itself uh, from a position at the forward end of the Zvezda module and was floating free of the station. Right now, okay, please do. And uh, Previous photo documentation from earlier in the week indicated that the missing antenna was on the wall six antenna, which is one of the three that's at the forward end of the station. Uh, Fyodor Yurchikin has already inspected one of the other two wall antennas at the forward end of Zvezda and tightened down its cover. Uh, once the crew members are complete here, uh, they will move on to remaining tasks, which will include the inspection of the sixth wall antenna uh, and its cover, and then to move on to uh, remaining tasks, which include uh, going to get a foot restraint that's located right now on the port side of Zvezda's transfer compartment, the very forward end of Zvezda, the spherical section. Uh, they'll remove that foot restraint and relocate it onto the uh, new EVA workstation. Alexander Mizurkin will be translating up to the Poisk module to uh, take photographs of an exposure experiment known as SKK, which was installed on Poisk last week during the spacewalk last Friday, and to take some surface samples of the Poisk EV hatch. The only other remaining task then would be the installation of a couple of gap spanners on the port side of Zvezda to assist uh, translation of uh, spacewalkers of the future who will be moving around in that area. Here from Yurchigan's helmet camera, we're looking uh, right at the uh, EVA, the new EVA workstation and the biaxial pointing platform. That's uh, the BPP part of it is in the upper right-hand uh, corner of your screen. Now installed on the starboard side of Zvezda. Agreed,
I have, uh, I will be able to reach here. Copy. Yes, I'll reach it. The camps have been installed, Sergey. Copy. Further, copy. And the legs, let me move the legs. He just did not want to fly. That's it. Okay. Where? 19-2. Okay. 19-2. Understand. This way. I see another wire. Here, another white eye. Okay. 
You said 19 to is the connector for the flag. Well, I thought it was the connector 19 or two. That, therefore, it's on this side. All right, now I understand. Fyodor Yurchikin's helmet camera view shows us uh, his work as he continues uh, completing up the last of the uh, cable connections for the new EBA workstation 19. and its biaxial pointing platform that he and Alexander Mazurkin have uh, installed on the starboard side of Zvezda. Uh, it's in place, uh, in the place where uh, laser communication system experiment had been located until uh, they removed it uh, as the uh, first task in today's spacewalk. Spacewalk got started at 6.34 Houston time this morning. Now three hours, 42 minutes and counting. 19.10, got it. Uh, Yurchikin and Mazurkin have also already been to the aft end of the Zvezda module and uh, tightened down the covers on three wall and communication antennas located around the circumference of the aft end of Zvezda. When they finish the uh, cable connections here, they have uh, two more wall antennas to look at at the forward end of Zvezda. There's a foot restraint relocation task, installation of gap spanners, and on the POISC module, some uh, photo documentation and surface sampling to be done. Well, I could as crew members uh, work through a list of tasks that was, uh, as originally ordered, uh, scheduled for five hours and 39 minutes. At uh, this point, we anticipate that all of the planned tasks will still be accomplished, but uh, due to some of the, the work being done out of the original order, it's uh, unclear at this point whether or not the uh, length of today's spacewalk will remain at roughly five and a half hours, or uh, whether or not that will that will change. And uh, of course, we'll let you know once that uh, is becomes clear to the uh, EVA officials here in Houston. Go ahead, 1911. Yes. 1911. Got it. You received it, you found it. Yes, got it. Good. So this is our cable. And this? will have to pull out to Sergei the two connectors that are mated at the cable. Uh, they are just uh, at the foundation of the coil, the VRM. I'll copy. So, yes, I can hear. I can hear you. What's your proposal? Well, just maybe stow it using the Lirka clip and URM. Okay, if that's the best uh, method as you see it on location, then do it. Yes, I think I'll be able to just drape it like this. And, but in that case, in the first scenario, they would have been there. Yes, uh, Sasha, I placed them. I placed them as... Uh, Required. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, one. And then the second one in the same location. Yes, and up. And a bit uh, forward, right? Yes. Okay, so, uh, the opposite. 
that should be the opposite line. You know that uh, that cable should go from above like this. Okay, at 90 degree angle. Uh, from above, you said. Understand. Yes, from above. Like this. Copy. That's good. So let me move it a bit. I see it. It's moving. Sasha, uh, if you do it to the coil, if you tie it close to the coil, yes, that's exactly what we're trying to do uh, to the reel. Uh, we're trying to find the appropriate length to unreel it, and I think let's stop at that. That should be sufficient. But uh, the one further away is uh, a bit too long. Which one? No, this is all good. Further. I'm just saying the only cable that is routed through above. Inaudible. I think we should move it this way. Well, you see it, it's right underneath your feet. Okay, then let's move it to the right. You know what we can do? Uh, we'll uh, move it under this structure. So we'll route it underneath. Yes, let's do it. Sasha. We'll just tie it in this location. I think that would be good to do it like this. We'll just tie it. Alexander Mazurkin's helmet camera showing us the view as he works to uh, tidy up these uh, last of the cables. We see Fyodor Yurchikin also uh, working on the cables for the uh, EBA workstation, which is actually... Uh, just over Mazurkin's left shoulder here and extending uh, back out to the left. In the upper left-hand portion of the screen in the distance, uh, that orange rectangular thing is the piece that was removed from this work location. That is the, uh, the BTLS, is it, its Russian acronym, the uh, Laser Communications System Experiment Hardware, uh, temporarily stowed there at that location. Inaudible. When your chicken and Mazurkin finish up the uh, cable connections, the uh, power and telemetry connections for this new EVA workstation, they uh, will take the BTLS back towards the uh, piers airlock. It'll be brought inside at the uh, by the conclusion of today's spacewalk for uh, ultimate disposal. Uh, likely on a progress vehicle in the future, although it's not scheduled. So we have three connectors then. And then move on to uh, the remaining tasks of today's spacewalk, which include the inspection of uh, two more wall system antennas, uh, one of which is believed to, all to, to not have a cover on it, the cover that was discovered floating free earlier this week. And then some... Uh, Inspection tasks at the Poisk module, the relocation of a foot restraint uh, from one spot on Zvezda to another, and the installation of uh, two gap spanners on the opposite side of the Zvezda from uh, where we're working here. Uh, this is the uh, 
starboard side of the universal work platform, which is uh, about at the uh, midpoint of the starboard side of uh, Zvezda. The uh, forward end of the station is uh, up the top in our current view, uh, moving toward the uh, Zarya module and then the uh, U.S. segment of the station. Okay, so I've tried again. I cannot see it much. Okay, we'll be able to see it. Yeah, you feel reluctant to untie the wire because it can, it can then uh, kind of uh, uh -huh. uh, move. Uh, okay, guys, you have five minutes prior to the Russian ground side coverage. This is just for your information. Copy. And a reminder, so when you go to the instrumentation compartment, uh, there should be a towel. Copy. Remember. I have uh, taken photos of the connectors that are tied to the wheel. Copy, and we can see that also, we're observing. And Sergey, I will try to tie it here. This is a close-up look over Fyodor Yurchikin's shoulder as he is... Uh, trying to uh, secure the uh, thermal covers over some of the uh, cabling that's been uh, disconnected from the uh, payload that was removed from this work site and then uh, Fyodor, Fyodor. reconnected to uh, bring power and telemetry to the uh, new payload, the EBA workstation. Okay, the tether. Alexander Mazurkin's helmet camera shows us uh, as he uh, what he's doing, photo documenting that uh, new hardware uh, that's uh, in the lower left portion, uh, excuse me, lower right portion of this view. First, the EVA workstation, which uh, with the uh, square attachment point there, the new hardware is attached to the uh, outboard side or to the left in our current view. There in the top of the frame is the new EVA workstation and biaxial pointing platform. All right. Shall we just wait and see the, what the results are of uh, the connection? Yes, uh, we have uh, two minutes left, and uh, maybe it makes uh, sense uh, for you to just rest for a couple of minutes, so you will... Uh, be working with the screws later at full force. All right. All right, I've tied it up. Yes, and I can see that also. Thank you. All right. We're standing by. I have tied it under the MLI. Yes, uh, I can see it. Excellent. 
Значит, давайте это самое. Right. Осталось минута два. We have one minute and twenty seconds. Это самое, пару минут на их анализ. And then we'll need a couple of minutes to analyze the uh, connection. So uh, just rest for a couple of minutes. And once we get the results, we'll report and then we'll proceed. All right, we'll do that. The Mission Control Center in uh, Koyalov advising the uh, crew members to uh, stand by for a couple of minutes. That's when the station will move into uh, range of coverage through uh, Russian communications assets. And they uh, wish to uh, verify connections to the, the new hardware at that time. The station is currently out over the Atlantic Ocean and, then we cannot tighten and is uh, heading to uh, cross the uh, coast of France here in uh, just a couple of minutes. The current course will take it uh, across Europe and south of Moscow and ultimately uh, very near the uh, launch site in Kazakhstan. Understand. So we can do that. That's not a problem. Okay, Sasha. Please stand by. Wait. Sasha, let's uh, uh, do only one. Okay, one means one. All right. Let's not uh, spend too much time on that because from our point for your understanding from our strategic plan, we wanted to look uh, at 24 and to form a test. Okay, copy. Sasha is going to do the test. We do not need to bring anything in. Everything is in. And I'll go to 24. Uh, is it okay, Sasha? How, what do you think? I'm fine. That will work. Okay, well, yes, of course. Uh, you'll go separately to uh, test and to 24. Okay, guys, let's go to the assembly compartment. Everything is nominal. Nominal is nominal, means nominal or nominal for us. The connectors are made to twist the telemetry. They're going to start the heating. Well, we're not going to help in that. Let's go to the assembly compartment. Copy. That's fine. I'm not going to interfere as soon as you get to uh, how to uh, let me know. Okay, we'll do.
Spacewalkers Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin have uh, departed the forward end of Zvezda and returned to the aft end of that module. We're looking through Alexander Mazurkin's helmet camera as he is uh, at work once again uh, tightening a cover on uh, one of the wall system antennas. Uh, he was had worked on this uh, earlier and had even had Yurchikin out to uh, try to help him earlier. Uh, Yurchikin is uh, with him uh, once again. Uh, in fact, uh, Yurchikin is uh, out of this frame, but is uh, helping hold Mazurkin's body steady so that he's able to apply some force with his screwdriver to tighten down that uh, antenna cover, that uh, white uh, fabric cover which is over and one of the antenna. There are three of these similar antennas here at the aft end of Zvezda, um, three others at the forward end of Zvezda, if it doesn't work. all of which are part of the proximity communications equipment, which is a rendezvous system that supports the uh, docking of the European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle, which is uh, docked here at the aft end of Zvezda uh, it's the uh, very white-colored looking module in the upper left-hand portion of your screen. Mazurkin had tightened the other two antenna covers here at the aft end of Zvezda himself earlier. Was unable to uh, get into a steady work position to do the same here. Uh, Yurchikin did join him earlier and they uh, did make the attempt to do this, but then were uh, called back to complete the installation of the EVA workstation. Yes, Alexander Fyodor uh, and myself are planning to visit them in the next week or so.
Four hours, eight minutes and counting into today's International Space Station EVA by flight engineers Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin. The station is now uh, moved out of the range of our uh, tracking and data relay satellite system for television. Uh, it's going to be uh, a while here before we expect to get uh, television pictures back, uh, perhaps after the top of the next hour. We saw the two of them working at wall antenna number two on the aft end of the Zvezda module, uh, tightening down the cover on that antenna. When the crew members finished with that, at this point, the uh, anticipated plan is that uh, Fyodor Yurchikin will move back to, well, they both will move back to the forward end of Zvezda, where Yurchikin will inspect a wall antenna number four. Uh, they're aware that the antenna at wall number six is missing. They had photo documentation of that from uh, Monday. Uh, he'll inspect the cover at wall antenna number four, while Alexander Mizurkin will move to the Poisk module uh, to do uh, surface sampling for the test experiment and uh, probably will also uh, take photographs of the uh, exposure experiment, SKK, which was installed at that location uh, during the spacewalk last Friday. At this point, we believe that the uh, the foot restraint relocation task has been deleted from today's spacewalk. Yurchikin will not be doing that, and that it is uh, anticipated that the gap spanner installation task for Mazurkin will still be completed today. Perform the uh, glove inspection and the towel jet. A moment ago, you heard the uh, spacewalkers indicate that they were, uh, they have uh, finished the Orlan inspection. For, uh, let us know when you get to the assembly compartment. Crew members were talking about using towels to uh, wipe their gloves. Uh, that task is on the timeline for after they had finished work back at the aft end of the station uh, to wipe the uh, wipe their gloves and their suits and any possible contamination uh, that they might, any uh, particulate that they might have picked up working around the Zvezda thrusters. Uh, they do that, they then will, will jettison the towels, they'll throw the towels uh, overboard in the aft direction. They do not pose any hazard to uh, recontact with the station later. And then we'll uh, begin translating back to the forward end of the station. Comments, 
Oh. Mazurkin will be headed for the Poisk module <laughs> to take some surface samples at the EVA hatch and likely photographs of an exposure experiment that was installed there last Friday. While Yurchikin moves to inspect another of the wall system antennas on the forward end of the station. We believe that the uh, installation of gap spanners will uh, still take place, but that the foot restraint relocation uh, will not, that uh, the Russian uh, flight team has removed that task from the list for today's spacewalk. And the two crew members do need to go get the, uh, the BTLS, the laser communication system, which they left in its uh, Tempsto location uh, near its previous installation site. They need to go retrieve that and uh, bring it back to the airlock before they can wrap up today's spacewalk. Where are you right now? 